The scene opens in a typical horror setting. A group of young adults in a cabin in the woods who have seemingly been partying. You already know somebody is about to die. Until Dawn is an interactive drama survival horror video game developed by Supermassive Games exclusively for PlayStation 4. If you've heard of the butterfly effect, then you'll understand the concept of this game, as this is a choice and consequence game where your decisions will shape how the story unfolds. It's live or die when these eight friends get stranded in a cabin on the top of a mountain, and your choices determine who might get out alive. Until Dawn is unlike most game playthroughs because it's designed for you to play multiple times because you won't be able to see all of the content in just one playthrough. Each time you play, it'll take about 9 hours, so you better make sure that you've got plenty of time to dedicate to seeing all of the storylines in this game. Like, a lot of time. Because the developers said that there's hundreds of different endings. The mechanics of the game utilize an in-game system called the Butterfly Effect which we're all very familiar with by now, and any choice of action could cause unforeseen consequences later in the story. Throughout the game, players will make difficult decisions during ethical and moral dilemmas, such as sacrificing one person to save another. The butterfly effect system blurs the lines between right and wrong decisions, and it is possible for players to keep all eight characters alive, as well as having all eight of them die. This allows for many different paths and scenarios from each character. Until Dawn has also been met with a hugely positive response, with praise directed at the visuals, choice mechanic, horror elements, music, voice acting, and gameplay design. There are also some very familiar faces on some of these characters. It's actually really insane. I believe they used the real faces of all of the characters, however there were only two that I actually recognized right off the bat. You'll see Hayden Panettiere and John Abruzzi, or Peter Stormar, however you say it, if you haven't seen Prison Break. But how insane is it that game development has gone so far that we can actually use people's real faces? I'm not going to spoil anything in the storyline, so if you have a PlayStation 4, I definitely recommend you pick up this game and start playing. Or if you're like me and you don't have a PlayStation 4, Go on YouTube and watch a really awesome person like Markiplier go and play this game. I may have watched him play this game for three hours today. Just kind of happened. I hope you guys enjoyed today's spooky first impression. Leave a thumbs up if you did. And if you'd like to see more of me, you can check me out on my channel, Brits Games. All my links are down below in the description. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next week. Goodbye! Impulse is produced by the Freedom Network. Ever wanted to earn revenue from your videos? Freedom offers a great partnership program which includes access to hundreds of thousands of audio tracks, sponsorships with great partners, and most importantly, a no lock-in contract. You can leave at any time for any reason. We accept everyone, both big and small. For more information, click here or visit the link in the video description.